Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one we're going to be showing you how to use the in tray function within the purchases module. So the good thing about this is how it works is when a supplier sends you an invoice to your email instead of having to open up the PDF or even print it out what you can do is you can send that email directly to your Myob purchases in tray and then it will flow through you'll be able to pick it up within myob and then you'll be able to automatically attach the pdf to the purchase that you're about to enter and once you have done a supplier more than once what will happen is the system will uh, recognize the supplier and it will remember the account codes used of course you get a chance to review the account codes before you finalize the purchase but the good thing is it gives you an opportunity there to streamline and semi-automate the purchase entry process, as well as having a really effective audit trail with having all your PD documents attached inside of my op. Okay, so what you have to do, you go to the purchases section here, in tray. And we can see there's nothing here. You need to click on the email address icon up the top there. And it says here, email documents to your in-tray. Use this address to forward documents to your in-tray. Just save it as a contact in your email or share it with your supplier so they can send files straight to your account. So what we're going to do, this is the email address here. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to go over to our inbox. And let's say that this is the invoice that we have received here. So instead of having to either print it out or open it up and then manually enter it into Myob, all we're going to do is we're going to click forward. We're going to paste that email address that we just copied. So I'll control V. There it is. And you can save this as a contact as well, of course, to bring it up easily next time. And then we're just going to click send. So now we're going to pop over into Myob. I'll close out of here. We're going to refresh and there it is. So what you can do, you can open it up here to have a closer look or you can open it up from your bill as well. So we're just going to go create new bill. You also have the opportunity to link to an existing bill. And if you go down here to switch options, you have the opportunity to link this PDF to a spend money as well. But we're going to be entering this as a bill because it hasn't been paid yet. So we'll click on create new bill. And then we can see it here, it's attached here. So whenever we open up this bill in the future, we'll be able to see the PDF attached here. And you can click on the enlarge button there to have a look at the actual document. And here we go. So let's type in the supplier. And now we can see that some information is auto-populated here. So we got a supplier invoice number. Let's double check that. That's correct. The date is 6th of November. That's correct. Purchase number, I'm not really concerned with that. The amount, 2099, that's correct. Tax is zero. So we'll put in here FRE. And then we just have to select the account number. And then what will happen if we have another bill from this same supplier down the track? It will remember the account number that we've used and that will auto populate. So we're going to. That just needs to be FRE. It defaulted to GST because of the account code we used. So you just got to be a bit careful there. It does automate to save you time, but just do a bit of a sense check and make sure that everything is correct and that everything matches the invoice before you hit record. And then we simply hit record. So then if we go have a look at the purchase register, we can see there it is. We can see there there's an attachment there. We can click into it and then we can open it up again here. How good is that? So a great little innovation here that allows you to automate your bill entry, your purchase entry, which can take a lot of time if you're doing it manually. But one of the best things about it is that you always have your PDF documents attached to the transactions because anyone who's ever worked in an accounts payable role knows that when you need to go back and fish out old invoices from a filing cabinet, it's not always easy to find what you're looking for, even when you do have a good filing system. And at the least, even if you do have a good filing system, it still can be time consuming. But this way, everything is attached in your email. 
So there's no worries at all. It's really good as well if you need to send it through up to your manager to approve a transaction or whatever it may be. Instead of them having to match up Myob to the physical documents, they can just open up the PDF. Everything's attached to the system. It's very easy. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you learned something here. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in our description. Uh, we specialize in accounting software such as Myob, Xero, and other systems. We also work with uh, Excel and the Microsoft Office Suite, all kinds of business software training. So if you have uh, any questions or you want to learn how to do something, head over to our website and book in a session there. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you later.